One of the problems with the treatment of vasculitis is that we don't have treatments that are both effective and that have a low chance of side effects. Now our colleagues in Cambridge a few years ago recognised from studying people with, with disease that a particular genetic signature in a type of immune cell could predict who would get bad disease and who would get less severe disease. Therefore, potentially, who would need lots of treatment and who would need not need much treatment at all. But what no one had ever done is to find out whether these cells might actually be important in, in the disease. And our paper has shown for the first time that these cells, called CD8 cells, which in the body kill cells that are infected by viruses, actually do play a role in vasculitis, potentially leading to a better understanding not only of what our colleagues work in Cambridge is meaning, but developing treatment strategies that might target these damaging cells themselves. So CD8 cells are a normal part of the immune system. But our study is the first study to functionally implicate them in the development of this disease, and it opens up opportunities to target these cells in a more specific way so that instead of the non-specific immunosuppressive drugs we use that have lots of side effects, we may be able to look towards developing more specific therapies for this condition. We believe that our study will be a further step along the road to more specific, more targeted and more effective treatments for this difficult to treat disease.